Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and also you turn on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. As many of you may know by now, there is a social media outburst where we see from all sections of the society different mixed feelings, different reactions over the removal or the abolishment of uh, the Ministry of National Guidance and Religious Affairs. In this clip, we take a look at the reaction from uh, the MMD president, Dr. Nevis Mumba, who is also a preacher man. Uh, we take a look at uh, his reaction, his thoughts uh, towards this development. Stay tuned. The question has been asked to us, to me in particular, what are my feelings? What are our feelings as a movement for multi-party democracy? Concerning the dissolution of the Ministry of National Guidance and Religious Affairs. And I think the reason why a lot of the people are asking us is because MMD is behind the pronouncement of the declaration of Zambia as a Christian nation. However, as a minister of the gospel myself, I wish to address myself to this very critical debate. I have made it extremely clear as a minister of the gospel, first of all, before I become, before I talk about the political aspect, that Christianity does not consist in a ministry. Christianity does not consist in singing a hymn. Christianity does not consist in building a church. Christianity does not consist in just mere declarations, including that of the day of prayer and fasting. We need all those to support our Christian legacy. But I think what we need more than anything else is the works the values and that our Christianity must be known by our deeds, not by our activities of building churches. Because Christianity can only be determined by the fruit. The Bible says you shall know them by their fruit, not by how many churches they build or whether they have a ministry of religious affairs or not. We have some concerns about the Ministry of Religious Affairs. In the manner it was constituted, the idea could have been good, but it actually, instead of being a blessing, it created a crisis for the very Christian faith that it was supposed to represent. In the same administration of the Patriotic Front, never in the history of our country have we seen so much injustice as we saw in Patriotic Front. Ministry of Religious Affairs was quiet. I don't think since independence we have seen so much mistreatment of those who are not part of government or in the opposition as we saw in the Patriotic Front. The Religious Affairs Ministry was quiet. In the past 10 years we've seen the brutalization and also the gassing of individuals, and yet the religious ministry was mute. The religious ministry was now considered as an, an, a unit that supported the atrocities of the last 10 years. So in terms of its outlook by many Zambians, it did not add to the value of Christianity away from Christianity. 
Therefore, not having it as one of the line ministries directly does not make Zambia any less of a Christian nation than it ought to be. Our challenge to this new government is to stay by their words that judge us by our deeds and not by our oratory. We support that stand. We support the stand where the country can start to execute justice when, where there is injustice. It's the only way that we're going to be known as a Christian nation. Not because it's in our constitution, not because we have many churches, but because we value the virtues of Christianity. Love for one another, forgiveness, justice for both the poor and the rich and ensuring that there's equitable delivery of goods and services to all Zambians, regardless of tribe or gender. So for us, we do not think that the absence of the re religious ministry reduces our potency of being a Christian nation. I think this government must demonstrate in their acts that Christianity is the basis for the decisions we make as a nation. We therefore think that the religious ministry not being one of the line ministries in this new administration does not pose any danger to our being or realizing our Christian virtues. Because even with it, we didn't see the Christian virtues being advanced in the last administration. I call on all Zambians and all Christians to live by example, to demonstrate our Christianity through our deeds. For the Bible says, you shall know them by their fruit. I thank you and may God bless our republic.